Good evening. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Thursday, February 15th, 2024, planning board meeting. We could all raise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so introduction to board members. On Zoom, we have Les Bodwell. Uh, to the far left, we have John Ganarelli, Jerry Graybill, Paul Matucci, myself, Michael LaRue, Bill Roy, and Rick Rains. We also have Irish Griffith, the code enforcement officer, and we, I think we have Hannah on Zoom. She is, has not joined yet. She has not joined yet? Okay. Uh, she'll be on soon. Okay, she, Hannah Watson from SMPDC will be via Zoom shortly. Um, next is a public hearing. I'll open that up for Berwick Small Engines. Um, conditional use, 74 School Street, U002, Lot 9, Zone B0. Just want to come up and just give us a quick uh, description again. Sure, and, absolutely. Uh, I'll just hold it, no need for the tripod. So we did the walkthrough earlier today, and as you guys saw, the new building is proposed to go here. We did flip that. Instead of being 30 feet across, we're doing 24 by 30. And from the parking, uh, we said that we did have to move that building back about six feet. And there will be the fence here. Then the rest of the property also be fully fenced in. 96 gallon toters for trash, uh, single stream recycling, stuff like that. Um, and then I just had few things that like before and afters if you guys need to see anything like that or nope all right so all right. if you guys have any questions or anything well, let me we'll know. just see if there's any public comment and then we'll just go from there all right. thanks all right. guys thank you i don't think there's anyone on zoom okay seeing how there's no one in the public to give a public comment um i'll make a motion that we close the public hearing i will second okay further discussion all in favor? Okay. All right, public hearing is now closed. Um, next up is the first public comment. Also seeing no one in the here, we will close that public comment. Next is approval of minutes. Uh, first one is January 18, 2024. Um, there's two people that will not be voting on this, and that is Les and Dawn. Um, An opportunity to review the minutes as drafted. I find them uh, to be complete, and I would make a motion to approve. I will second that. Okay, for the discussion. All right, so since Les is on Zoom, we will be doing a roll call vote. I know that he won't be voting, but since, like I said, since he's on Zoom, <coughs> we will be doing roll call votes today. So, uh, Don, you weren't there, so you're, you're yeah. standing. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. I am a yes. Uh, Bill? I made the motion, yes. I'm a yes. Okay. Approved. January 18th. February 1st. Uh, the only person that cannot vote on this is Les, as he was not here. Again, I've had an opportunity to review the minutes. Uh, as drafted, uh, they are an accurate depiction of our meeting. I would make a motion to approve. Second that motion. Okay, for the discussion. Uh, roll call vote. Don? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. I'm a yes. Phil? I am a yes. And Rick? Yes. All right. Minutes are approved. Now, old business, Berwick Small Engines, conditional use, 74 School Street, U002, Lot 9, Zone V. <coughs> All right. Can come on up again. <laughs> I don't know if I need any of this or not. Nope, nope, you don't need any of that. No. Um, so going over the stuff, we did the site walk. Everything seemed pretty good there. Um, like you said, you're just moving some stuff a little bit further back. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty straightforward at this point. Did you end up going with the larger building size? As long as the foundation 
price comes in at what I was told I can get it done for, then yes, I will do the larger. Okay. If, so, if it, not, then it will remain the 20 by 30. Okay. If I made to the board, uh, Randy was in today talking with me, and depending on the price difference that you just heard, he may opt for what you said you put the bigger size bill. I did, yes. There was the day. steak from the right to left would be the right side of the building to the 20 foot mark. And if I can get the lock in the quote for the larger 24, that was the second stake out. Um, I did receive one quote for 27,000 to do that, the foundation and the floor. And then I received another one for 14. So if we can lock the 14 in, I'm doing that one. So what I would like, um, because this is something James and I were discussing with Renny, and, and I don't know, Hannah might be able to weigh in and just answer me quickly, but uh, what I was hoping for is that maybe, maybe even if we just do it in the finding of facts, that the building, that there be a statement that the building be no larger than, rather than lock him in at that large building, so that if he decides to go with a smaller building, I'd like to make sure that I can approve that smaller building without him having to come back and see you guys for a moment. Is that, is that something I'd be able to do anyways, Hannah? We weren't really sure. Um, or can we just put it in the finding of facts that with the building to be no larger than the, the maximum size that they're going to approve if they approve this? Um, if you're going to... I guess it isn't necessarily required that you put a building eh, I guess but you're putting the site plan. Yeah, I'd say I'd say no larger than whatever the size is because the other option is just a smaller version of what you would yeah, propose, I guess. It's just a smaller the difference being whether he has to go with a full frost wall foundation or can do a monolithic slab. That's yeah. Um I'd probably just put a no larger than if whatever, so if but the board is comfortable with that I would like to, to have it worded that way for Rennie's uh, convenience and the board's convenience as well. The, lar the larger uh, scale had appropriate setbacks and everything from abutting properties. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And then, so if he doesn't go with that, it would just be a matter of uh, whether or not I can approve a permit for a smaller building versus, and I just wanted to save mm -hmm. everybody a little headache if you guys do want to approve this. And that's my only two cents on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, you had said that the fire uh, fire department was there to uh, take a look at the existing uh, garage, correct? Right. Okay. So I was able to get the home occupancy permit okay. to you know no customers work out of that, and I guess we're here to see about building the storefront, the slight retail um, where we would offer. New blades, oil, bird seed, seasonal tools, things like that. Also, uh, if you're going to do this, when are you going to do it? When did this start? Um, a little warmer weather. No, um, as soon as I can lock in that foundation. So I've been kind of like waiting for you guys to say, yes, approved. And then I can start contacting the people that I've gotten quotes for and start getting the ball rolling. I would love to be open by like June, I would say. Doesn't mean it'll happen, you know. Um, but that's what I would love to see because we have a lot of people who come up from Connecticut, Mass, Rhode Island, and they jump from 16 right up through Berwick to get up to uh, the main turnpike. So to get a lot of those touristy people in, you know. So that would be nice to be open by then. But as we know, wrenches can be thrown in things. And I may find there's a six feet of ledge underneath this little property I got. And, you know, I don't know. Yeah, there's always that. Problem. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so just to get it kind of on the record, we, I was at the site walk and everything looked great. Mm -hmm. um, your plan is to have a roughly 20 foot curb cut yep. and some parking spots out front. Mm -hmm. Um, and no sign on the street, but a sign on the building, the new building, mm -hmm. so that there won't be any interference on the street with any kind of sign or anything. Correct. And uh, your garbage is going to go out back, hidden out of the way. Yep. 
I'm just trying to review everything that we kind of yeah. talked about today. Um, from my perspective, I see no issues. So based on that, I would make a motion that uh, we, uh, we approve this project uh, with the caveat that we put in terms um, no larger than for the building and put those, those larger dimensions down. Mm -hmm. So that gives them some flexibility, some flexibility and gives code flexibility. I would second that motion. Okay, further discussion? Okay, roll call. So less. You yeah, hit the unmute. space bar. Unmute yourself, my friend. Yes, I, w I would vote in favor of this. Okay. Don? Yes. Gary? No. Paul? Yes. Myself is a yes. Phil? I'm a yes. And yes. Rick? All right. Thank you. Go forth and conquer. So. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I still got to ask the wife permission, though. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. All right. So there is no new business. So moving to land use ordinance amendments, the final. So this is the last meeting we have to discuss, and we need to vote on this. Um, Did I read uh, earlier? Jerry had a Jerry had a definition for steep slope as well. Uh -huh. um, in addition to this one, I didn't have eyes on that one yet. Your, so you did. Okay, I may not have yeah, printed it out. So, so do we want to merge these two, or, this or what was along with what you said, Phil? I checked with our civil engineers. They said it's a hard thing to define, just like. They had said during yep. the meeting, but she said the one that I sent is one they use for reference a lot because it kind of lays out, you know, different scenarios that the town, you know, could face when they're trying to mm -hmm. go through all this as far as distances and everything else goes. So and it's already used in other municipalities. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> New Hampshire is okay. where it came from. Yeah. Yep. But she said that was a good definition, and they refer to that a lot. Okay. Have we, has everyone had a chance to look at the email from Dennis Jackson about the steep slope? Just read it. Yes. Uh, yep. Seem to be in agreement with the definition. Yeah. Just as because it only apply it's it's only used in terms of erosion hazard and access safety. Yeah. yeah. There's no standard right. definition for it. Yeah, there's like multiple. It's all. I didn't receive a copy of that. Okay. Other definition. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so with the farm land thing, we're not gonna. That's gonna be going on to the next. The next. Oh, uh, it's gonna. Yeah, okay. We're gonna. Okay. It came in late, and then yeah. I guess something happened. Someone said something. Yeah, and we just we'll discuss this after. Yeah. So when we start amending. For next, we'll next year, then we'll, we'll work on that. Okay. okay. So we'll have the table down. Yeah. So the steep slope that is in here currently under definitions is that what we're going with, or, or um, that's that's what seemed to be adequate for what we needed. Uh, okay. That I talked with James and he's that's what he said as well. Um, if it was for something more than just what we're asking. Because it's only for erosion hazard and access safety. If it was for actual like um, developing the the site, then it would be a different issue. Okay. So we're looking for a motion. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've already kind of gone through this. I'm just making sure mm -hmm. that um, everything is on yeah, we'll here. Get it. You know, I'm reading this one on uh, temporary structure, and it, it's a little, any structure that is used only temporarily uh, for a maximum of 180 days 
that it's not permanently affixed to the ground right. or to any structure that is permanently affixed to the ground. Um, so it seems to me that what we're trying to say is it has to have a foundation and to, uh, to be called a permanently affixed. It has to either, yeah, structure. it has to be either permanently attached to the ground or attached to something that is permanently attached okay. to the ground. So that's temporary structure thing would be apply to things like conics containers, uh, greenhouses. Now, houses, do those containers, uh, let's say it's a conics container, do those containers um, come through uh, planning? Uh, or do they, do they get a, a certificate to allow them to be put on the property? I mean, at this point, we do well, it for I, sheds. Well, you can put up to one container on your property without getting uh, through the planning board. If you're going to put more than one, then you need to go to, through us. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't even thinking of going through the planning board, but just getting, you know, going through the town and getting they're a, not required to uh, a, it's been a permit for it. Yeah, they're not required. That's okay. something that's been... Uh, because, yeah, and uh, I don't want to change the language. I'm yep. just trying to get my head around this. Because I'm, I'm thinking that um, if we knew when they did it, then we could count 180 days. But they could say, oh, that was only here, you know, three weeks ago. Yeah, and, uh, and then, <laughs> you know, what do you do? Um, Start um, three, three. You can find out, because if, if they have a... Uh, container. If, if you didn't purchase it, whoever delivered it has to slip because it belongs to them. Well, you purchase it, too, yeah. you have a bill. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. So okay. there's a way of finding it out. Yes. Okay. Oops. But thankfully, it doesn't. It hasn't come up too many times, and I've been able to uh, satisfactorily remediate the issues where it has thus far. But that definition will be very helpful for a few situations we have. Occurring. Okay. I just my only concern would be: are are we being would putting this restriction in? Not and, and I say restriction by putting this 180 day limitation in. Would we be unduly um, impacting small businesses? Because I know there are there are several small businesses in town that use a Connex box for storage purposes for their business. If, so if we, they have to move that every 180 days, is it creating... No, they, they would wouldn't then, be able they would to... Just they'd have, have to, to get rid of it. Oh, they would have to get rid of it. They yeah. would have to, or if they want to keep it beyond the 180 <coughs> days, then they just have to get a building permit application and... Put it on footers or whatever. It, and show that it meets the setbacks and put it on something that's going to keep it stable. Okay. That's fair. So it's, yeah. it's not saying they can't have them long term. It just okay. prevents people from just... Parking them and leaving them and yeah, letting them the run. Yep. The businesses haven't been the problem because the businesses, you know, by and large around here, I have had minimal issue with businesses not okay. being compliant. It's people that have discovered, like, pods, things like that, mm -hmm. and they haven't brought in, and they drop them, like, six inches from the property line because they're not permitted. We right. don't permit them. Yeah. And then the neighbors are calling me because... You know, they can barely pull into their driveway because their driveway is on the property line and yep. there's pods right there. And if it's slippery, they're going to nail it. I know. If only they could, people could put it in a place that's not seen, yeah. <laughs> like from the road or, or from a neighbor. Yeah. Or you not, know. not directly on the neighbor's property right. line. <laughs> I'd, I'd be, Those are a pain to move. <laughs> I'd be extremely appreciative if not they keep them off the property line. Location. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Well, I'd like to make a motion that we adopt these changes to our land use ordinance for consideration by the select board. I will second that motion. Okay, further discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Les? I'm in favor. Yes. Okay. Don? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. I'm a yes. Phil? Yes. And Rick? Yes. All right. <coughs> so now that is going to the selectmen, and they get to vote on it. I guess I never thought you'd see the end of it.
<laughs> oh, no, it's not the end. No. <laughs> this is just the cycle. It's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. It's a work in progress. Start from scratch it's chapter, all over again. Chapter one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the end of this. So, next meeting, we'll start discussing new amendments to the land use ordinance. Oh, absolutely. Maybe we'll take the next one off. And do oh, no, it's going to be on the. It's going to be on here. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It yeah. really should be. Yeah. Um, and we so, do have a few things to so. cover. Yeah. Yep. All right, so moving forward is the second public comment. Um, it was brought to my attention by our esteemed member, uh, Mr. Rick Raines, that uh, one of his scouts is here to observe a public meeting in support of him pursuing his uh, Eagle Scout. Uh, so would you mind coming up and, and just talking to us briefly and tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Braden Ludke, and I'm with Troop 313. Um, I'm a high school. I'm in high school, and I'm a senior. Uh, I my birthday is next week, and I plan on next year going to university. Nice. What are you going to school for? Um, I think. Well, I applied to the University of Michigan for political science. Nice. And the University of Northern Michigan also for the same thing. Awesome. 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 Brayden, you want to tell them about your Eagle project? Yes. So my project was uh, I put up a new flagpole at the rec field, um, and it has a flower garden around it. It's right over at the rec field at the major field right next to the scoreboard. Very cool. Very yeah. nice. Well, thank you for your service to our thank community, you. and uh, good luck in your pursuit yeah. to thank become you. an Eagle Scout. Looking thank you. And happy birthday, early. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Time. Thank you. You're going to be 17, 18. 18. 18. 18. So, awesome. Time's nice. ticking. <laughs> good for you. All right. Uh, seeing no one else here, I'll close the public comment. Um, informational items. Ours? <laughs> I have two brain cells in there. That's it? Dueling it out? Good, yeah. Like, <laughs> they're in there going, Pew, pew. <laughs> um, I don't think there's a whole lot. I mean, this stuff, the LUO stuff is going to go to the select board. We do, uh, you know, I, I've got to still work with Hannah on a um, staff level review committee thing. Um, James has me looking into a couple other things with our ordinance. Uh, by and large, not a whole lot. Uh, I've had a rough time. I got one thing. Yeah. What is it? The 20th is our oh. tour of the water district? Oh. Yes. Thank you. Yep. I told you I've got two brain cells. It's all right. And I do that. That's this month, right? Yes. Next week. Yeah. Next week. Oh, okay. Is that That's it. Tuesday? Tuesday. Next Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday. What time? Uh, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 1600. Okay. For us military folks. Can somebody send out an email reminder the day before for us slow kids? I get yeah. busy. <laughs> Thank I'll you. Thank you. And I don't feel so bad because I asked Terry to get my best yeah. Monday's a holiday. Oh, yeah. that's right. So yes. it's Tuesday. So you get a day off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a day on. Day on. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a meeting on the 29th with the selectmen? Are we? Uh, so meeting? I have to go there and discuss everything but you guys don't have oh to go. thank you mike yep yep <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what the uh, chair does <laughs> yeah. thank you mr chair <laughs> um i don't think there's anything else wow. i mean i got a new great niece oh, congratulations congratulations very cool yeah that's yeah. very cool my only good well, if there are no additional items for consideration from the esteemed Burgess meeting room in the depths of the Berwick Town Hall, I would make a motion that we adjourn. And I will second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Good night. 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 Good night.